My dear friends and fellow YouTubers, we are virtually gathered here today to massively stand against toxic relationships. Like the one plastics have with the ocean, for example. It has to do with sushi and it has to do with football. And I know what you're thinking. This guy is completely bananas. But be serious. My name is Tony and I am a fervent football lover. From the ones that go out playing regardless of weather conditions or the amount of friends that are available. I don't know how many of you will relate to this. Of course, when you go out solo training, you end up improvising and you kick the ball against different things. I am kind of a handyman and so I put together a training aid that compiles the properties of some of the objects I usually kick the ball against but it's like a small portable enhanced wall and this video is part of a fundraising campaign in order to bring this product into the market You have seen just a few seconds of the implements being used and you can see already how demanding it is. You have to kick the ball with precision, you have to keep your reflexes in place, you have to be able to control the ball with different parts of your body and this in a dynamic very close to the real gameplay. Ten years ago when I first built this prototype, reactions around me were really positive, so I contacted some sports companies some locally, some internationally, and all of them came back to me saying, look, this is interesting, we like it, but we do not trade with unpatented products. So I went informing myself about the process. I went to my local patent office, and it turns out to be a very lengthy process, but mainly an expensive one. Back then, I had small kids, and my priorities were already settled, so the project ended up in standby until now, and I have to say, right now my kids are the biggest motivation I have to restart working on this project. But also, the fact that these fundraising platforms exist is amazing. Because with the contribution of very kind people all over the world, dreams can come closer to their realization. And this is really amazing for me. The one existing prototype is made out of wood. But my intention is to redirect the whole process towards recycled plastics. The greatest thing is that because football is such a huge sport worldwide, once this project kicks off for real, large amounts of plastics will extend their life cycle. More and more plastic will be pulled out of the ocean and will not reach the environment. And instead it will end up in your backyard maybe, or in a playground near your place, or at your football club in the form of a fun training aid that will help you improve and fine-tune your skills and because of that you will have plastic free fish on your dish what do you think about that plastic free fish on your dish but even if you do not eat fish or seafood the world the environment will be gradually freed of any plastics well my friends Share this video with as many people as you can, as many people as you know. The info about the funding sites is in the description. And subscribe because I am planning to share anything relevant happening with this project in this channel. So please, stay in touch.